Well, how do there, Charms? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, Charms, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, and for me, because I've just got my new PC all installed located. I've got Steam on there. I've got No Man's Sky on there. I'm, I'm booting up No Man's Sky for the very first time on my new PC. I've set all the graphics quality as high as I can. We're going to have a little cup of tea, and we're going to see how we get on. We're going to see how this recording looks. This is pretty much a a bench test to see whether I can get away with creating footage and more importantly going live with No Man's Sky. Here we go. Wish me luck, people. Here we go. Let's jump on over to game. OK, right. Well, this is just like a little mini test. See how my audio is coming through, everything else like that. Let's just have a quick look at the old. There you go. That mic volume's good. This is PS5 voice. Well, that's for my PlayStation, you know. Could be either or, I suppose. Turn it up just a tad. Sweet. Yeah, well, I think I'm getting the sound effects coming through just fine and dandy. But uh, let's let's call in my ship. Yeah, it looks like the sound is probably a little bit high. I'll just put that down. I usually have it on 60, and that's usually where I leave it. Right, it. Let's take one up to the sky. Oh dear, flight controls are inverted. <laughs> okay, so here we go, controls and look sensitivity. I want that to be a little bit higher, please. I'm going to welly that up. That on about 50. Flight sensitivity, I want to invert, invert. Flight controls, normal, inverted. There we go. There we are. Let's bring in the old Nexus. Oh, planetary interference. And just flying into the old Nexus then. Let's see how we get on. So, so far, so good. Now I've got this at 2K on resolution. I've got it on max settings, ultra settings. At the moment, I've got network turned off, mainly because I'm playing in PC experimental mode. In fact, let, let's let's turn that back on. Network enable. Let's give it a proper test. Let's see how we get on. So we go. I mean, I think it's running fairly smooth. I've turned off anti-aliasing. Seems extremely sharp, but is it too sharp? I mean, do I need some anti-aliasing? I don't know. I mean, I'll show you my network. I'll show you my graphic settings. So I've got it here. So I've got it on that resolution. Borderless. I've got it on ultra on everything. I've turned on this super fidelity because it seems to be boosting the graphics card. And I turned off the my motion blur. I might just put on, you know, like... 40 or something. I'm not a fan of motion blur, so there you go. I think that'd probably do the trick, wouldn't it? Not that you can really notice it at all, but there we go. Done. I'm not seeing any other people inside the Nexus, but then I am on PC Experimental. Let's just go walk to one of my other bases, shall we? Now, this is my PC save, so it means I can continue on with my PC save, I think, people. And, I, yeah, hopefully I might hit this up on Tuesday, continue doing whatever I'm doing. E3 Diplo base, let's go there. So the reason I made this one is because I did have a PC mod that brings in the actual E3 Diplo. Don't know whether that mod's still working. But, you know, I could use modded gameplay on my PC save now as well, couldn't I? So anyway, let's just get to this planet, get to this base. I kind of want to see the load times as well. Got myself a little cup of tea here. Very nice. I've arrived at Coated at my E3 Diplo base. Sweet. Looks all right to me. Apart from, you know, I haven't got any of the mods on at the moment. But I could install a couple of mods, I suppose. It has got these lovely beetles. 
Very majestic, heck yeah. Right, well, I'll jump in my ship, out of my ship. I think that's a pretty good test, to be fair. I don't know why there's no sound effects on the Vulture, but it doesn't make any sound effects right now. And I think what I'm going to do is just quit to desktop, and we'll see if it brings up my PC automatically in the background here. Dun -dum -dum. Cool. Well, it looks like it might have done. So let's uh, come out of there. And let's just uh, exit Steam, shall we? Yeah. Okay. That's some sort of like game mode of Steam. I think it works quite nicely. Uh, yeah. There's my background of my lovely laptop. Well, my, my desktop. My new desktop. Let's just play a random video that's not going to get me too much in trouble. You know what? Probably better to play one of my own videos, wouldn't I? Yeah, view channel. I just want to see. Oh, there we go. Hi, improved the ga galaxy. We'll play that. Yeah. Map bow. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I think that works. Thank you, Captain of the Steeds, and your little dancing techniques. Yes, that all seems to work. What about if I go back to um, me then? So I've got mice everywhere. I've got one for one computer, one for the other computer. They're, one's black, and one. I'll I make myself louder on the screen. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, green, me and me. Ah. So here we go. Don't know if you can see that, but I've got one black mouse, one one white mouse. The white mouse is for my laptop. The black mouse is for the PC over there. Got a black background at the moment, and uh, well, that, the old uh, thing at the top there, the old Patreon image. We'll get rid of the Patreon image because the Patreon ticker doesn't work at the moment. But why have I not got any background picture? Boom, ba dum, boom, boom. Get that off the screen. There you go, now I've got an octopus in the background, isn't that? Oh, it's not quite to size though, is it? Let's um let's do that and transform stretch to screen. There we are. Well that looks pretty darn freaking gnarly and fantastic, doesn't it? So I've got that in the background now. Lovely. Alright, well we've got that sorted then. There's a lot of things I'm gonna have to sort on my old Streamlabs and OBS, but I think I'm getting there. So say if I hit up Oh, that's without the green screen, though, isn't it? I'm going to have to have a little play. But you know what? I think I've managed to test No Man's Sky, and I know that I can capture some footage for No Man's Sky and go live with No Man's Sky, at very least from my PC so far. I want to install Nightingale and bench test that, because, you know, I've got a free copy of Nightingale, and it's very graphic-y. Very graphic -y indeed. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll try that out, I think, people. Um, but, yeah, for now... I think this is, this is working quite nicely. So if I just go and hit on up, ending soon. Yeah, I'll say goodbye. I'll go drink the rest of my tea and then I'll have a little play on my own time. But I think we've made good progress during this cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Heck yeah. Coolio. Yeah.